Passive income is an extreme possibility in the stock market, but what you need to understand is essentially how to do it. I'm gonna walk you through three of my favorite strategies, and I'm gonna relate those strategies to what you already probably know a lot about, real estate. So first and foremost, if you buy a single family resident property, I'm gonna relate that to buying a stock and just leaving it alone for months or years. Overall, the asset's probably gonna appreciate. Let's go look at Google. If you went and drop in $100,000 into Google and just leave it alone for the next year and some change, I can, I can predict that Google in the next year is gonna be at approximately $172. It's about a 25% increase in your overall $100,000 of capital. Now, can you buy a house for $100,000? Well, absolutely. It's gonna be a down payment, most likely for a second house, but you're gonna have that house and just leave it alone. Are you gonna rent it out? Are you gonna put anyone into it? We're gonna talk about that in just a moment. But will that house increase 25% in the next year? You know, maybe, maybe not. But you're gonna have so many challenges when you do actually buy that house, right? You're gonna have upkeep, you're gonna have maintenance, you're gonna have lawn, maybe the roof leaks, maybe there's a hailstorm, you're gonna have to replace the water heater, the neighbors are gonna be all weird. There are challenges with real estate that will never exist in the stock market. Your only challenge that you're gonna face in the stock market is the asset class dropping quickly and you freaking out, case in point, Google back in 2022, where Google did drop in value 42%. But that's only if you bought it at the exact all time high. Imagine you bought it, I don't know, April, May of 2021, and you held all the way up to a 33% pull uh, gain and then it retraced and you now had to hold on to a 27% paper loss. Well, is your house, maybe you own a couple of houses, are they fluctuating in value up and down? And the answer is probably, but you aren't worried about it because you're either living in the house, you're renting out the house, you have friends in the house, or you're just leaving it for the long term because you have that longer term mentality because it's harder to sell. Most people mess up stocks because they are easier to sell. They are liquid and you can get out of them immediately. So people get emotional, they freak out and they forget why they bought the stock in the first place. What I love about stocks is no maintenance, no overhead, no worries, no neighbors, no loud dogs. <laughs> it's just a stock. It's either going to go up or down. And the more you study it, the more you understand why it's going to go higher or lower over time, the bigger of a position you can take and the longer you can hold. So now you probably understand real estate at a basic level. Awesome. Now let's discuss owning a house and renting out that house. Did you know you can rent out stock just like you rent out a house? Yeah, it's true. It's an amazing strategy. It's actually one of my favorite strategies, probably number two. My favorite strategy of all time is the covered call. I love it. I've been doing it for years. I fully understand it. It's so simple. It's so easy. And I'm going to articulate exactly how you can buy stock and rent out your stock just like you rent out a house. Here's the way it works. Let's say that I want to buy Coinbase. You've probably heard of Coinbase. Coinbase is a stock that is accessible to anyone in the public markets anywhere in the world, and they allow people to buy and sell crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Matic, Atom, so on and so forth. So Coinbase makes its money by people doing transactions, and the more transactions that happen, the higher that Coinbase is gonna go over time. I personally believe that Coinbase will make it back up to 300 by June of 2025. Right now, it's at $125 a share, which means that this particular asset is going to grow over time. So what I will do is I will show you how you could buy Coinbase and then rent out your stock to bring in some additional passive income. You ready? First and foremost, you need to buy 100 shares of any asset to do and implement a cover call. If you were to purchase 100 shares of Coinbase here at $125, you'd be spending $12,500. What's amazing about that is what house can you buy for $12,500 that has no tenants, no termites, no toilets? Mm, probably not many, maybe not even any at all, but you can buy that in stocks. 
$12,500, 100 shares. That's what we're going to practice. And then I'm going to blow your mind with 1,000 shares on the next stock. So 100 shares of Coinbase. If you buy those 100 shares at $125, now what I will show you is you can pop into your broker of choice, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, E-Trade, just to name a few. And then you would go and select a call option. You are going to sell that call option by popping into an option chain. Now, if you don't know anything about option chains, if you don't know anything about selling covered calls, I have tons of videos on it, but I wanna teach you right here, so stay tuned to the very, very end. On Coinbase, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rent out my stock to another person who wants to buy my stock at a higher price, and they're gonna pay me money, cash, right now in order to do this particular trade. And when you rent out a house, the longer your rental term, the more money you make. This right here, these are the expiration dates, AKA your rental contract termination dates. As an example, as of recording this video, I'm in Miami right now doing a tour for real life trading, teaching people about money, about mindset, about how to increase their net worth. And it is late January, 2024. By the time you're watching this video, it's gonna be much past that. But I normally sell my rental contracts about six weeks or less. So for me, I'm going to look at the February 23rd, 2024 rental contract, AKA the expiration date for the call option. This right here where it says strike in the middle, these are the prices that I can elect to sell my stock at. And I'm going to look to sell my stock at 150 per share. So I buy it at 125 and I elect to sell it to someone else out there in the world, doesn't matter who, at 150. And I'm going to get paid to do that. Just like you own a house, the goal of owning a house and getting passive income from real estate is you have a tenant come in, they pay a rent, and that rent covers all of your bills, all of your overhead, plus a little bit of a cushion, right? And generally that cushion in most single family properties is 100, 200, 300 bucks. So you're putting down $100,000 to get two, 300 bucks a month in cash flow. Not awesome. So what I'm going to show you to do is you can put down $12,000 and get $300 a month in cash flow. <laughs> it's better. Plus no tenants, no termites, no toilets, no landlords, no contracts, no agents, no fees. You heard that right. I'm going to show you how to make $300 in passive income using your index finger with 12 grand total investment with no headaches, no hassles, no challenges, no problems. Here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be buying, in this example, Coinbase at 125. And as you buy Coinbase at 125, you are going to sell to someone else the right for them to buy your stock from you at 150. And they're going to pay you $300 and some change for the right to buy your stock at a higher price. Are you following me? Someone is going to pay you to buy your stock that you own from you at a higher price than you bought it for. I don't think you're following me. You're going to make money to make money. I don't think you get it yet. Someone's going to give you cash so that you can get more cash. <laughs> are, you, are you, is this concept come together? Is your brain saying, how do I lose on this trade? Well, here's what's fantastic. You actually don't lose on the covered call. In fact, the covered call strategy adds zero additional risk to the trade. The trade's risk is that the stock goes lower. Just like if you buy a house and you rent it out, well, tornado, flood, arson, all kinds of things that happen. The risk to this strategy is that the stock goes lower. But what if you go into a position saying, I'm going to be in this trade for three or four years and I don't really care about the general daily fluctuations. And when I'm in this trade and I'm able to sell a call option at a higher price and get paid to make more money to sell it at a higher price than I bought it for, I'll do that. And if I can't, I won't. But if I can, I will. Come on, let's go. This is really easy. You buy 100 shares at 125. You then go into your broker and you select to sell a 150 call 
option against your shares. You're going to get paid right now about $3.60 per 100 shares. So $3.60 per 100 shares is $360 if you have 100 shares on your $12,500 investment. And the best part, if Coinbase, sorry, when, when Coinbase uh, goes up to 150 and closes above 150 on the day that you sold your expiration, so this is February 23rd, 2024, when and if Coinbase goes above 150 and closes above 150 on that day, you will sell your shares at 150 that you bought at 125. That's a $25 gain per 100 shares, which is a $2,500 profit to your bottom line. And the best part, you keep the $360 in this particular trade. That's right. Oh, I didn't tell you, you keep the rental money no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. 360 bucks is yours regardless of what the stock does. If the stock goes to $300, to $2 or to $153, you're going to keep your $360 on this particular trade from a covered call standpoint. That cash will go into your account. And this is an option that you are going to sell and you're going to have control over. If you would like to make this type of passive income, go ahead and click on that subscribe button because I will continue to give incredible world-class outstanding stock market education and information just for all of my subscribers and followers. So on this particular Coinbase trade, we're looking at it $150, that's $2,500 net profit to your bottom line if it goes up to that price, plus your $3. So really what you're looking at is making potentially $28 per share, which would be $2,800 for every 100 shares that you make. And the best part, what if Coinbase is not above 150 come February 23rd, 2024, which is a Friday? If Coinbase is not above 150 by that particular price right here, you are going to keep your 100 shares. You're going to keep your $360 and you get to do it again. So March, April, May, let's just hypothesize and say that Coinbase is at 145 in late February. Then you'd have the opportunity to sell a 170 or 180 covered call getting paid Again, monthly cash flow by doing this, just like you're doing on my subscribe button, right? Same exact thing. Your finger is already strong from clicking that subscribe button. You have the ability to go in and sell that covered call, bring in that premium, and potentially sell your stock at even a higher price. So if you're selling it at 180 in April, you would be making, ready for this? $75 per share plus the two or three covered calls that you have sold against your shares of Coinbase. So with a $12,000 investment, you're looking at potentially making 40, 45% return plus the five or 6% additional return of passive income from selling the covered call, bananas. Yeah, this strategy exists and it's been happening since the 70s. That's when options came out and people have been selling calls against their stock like crazy. All right. Now are you excited for something really exciting? We've talked about just buying stock and leaving it alone, just like you're buying a house. We've talked about buying stock and renting it out, just like you buy a house and rent it out. Now, you've obviously heard of Airbnb. I would love to show you how you can Airbnb your stocks. <laughs> what? Yeah, so you buy a house, you do short-term rentals, right? STRs. You rent it out for three or four days, you bring in some income. You rent it out for another three or four days, you get some income. The worst part about Airbnbs probably is the cleaning fees and the fact that people are gonna come in your house and destroy it. But what if you can make that same type of income with your stocks? Let's party. We've talked about the covered call. The covered call is when you sell the call and you leave it to expiration. Well, here's the thing about option contracts. Option contracts are still going to be moving every single day all the time, regardless of what you are doing. The stock is moving, therefore the option is moving. And that gives you the ability to trade actively the option. Let's go back to that covered call example on Coinbase. And we sell a 150 covered call and bring in $360. That means that the option itself, let me update this really quick. 
The option itself is bringing in $3.60 per contract. Now, if you buy the stock and you sell that option, that option is going to fluctuate in price. So if Coinbase slash when Coinbase trades back down to 110, this option is going to go down in value. And you have the ability to exit that option before the expiration date. Therefore, you sell something for $3.60, and just like when you're shorting a stock, you sell high, buy low, you're able to then buy to close the option that you sold for $3.60 for, I don't know, $1.80. Capturing almost $2 of realized profit in, let's say, three or four days. And then when Coinbase has a bounce and has another strong bullish move, you are able to sell the option again for let's say $3.30. And we still haven't hit expiration yet. If Coinbase drops one more time and you're able to buy the option back this time for $1.30, capturing an additional $2, let's do the math. You have sold two covered calls, the exact same expiration at the exact same strike. You brought in $3 and some change both times, and both times the stock ended up dropping. The option that you sold decreased $2, and you have purchased the, that option back on two separate occasions, capturing in $2 both times for a total net cost, net profit of $4 per 100 shares, or 400 bucks using your Airbnb short-term rental as your stock holding. How cool is that? And the best part, the best part, the best part is you can do this on Airbnb. <laughs> what? Literally, you can go buy the Airbnb stock and you can own ownership of the company of Airbnb and then you can sell options against your Airbnb stock, literally Airbnb and the Airbnb. This is like the matrix because if you pop in really quick to your option chain, you click on Airbnb, you see this orange and yellow lines that say weeklies. These weekly covered calls expire a couple of days or a couple of, you know, a couple of days or a couple of weeks from after you sell it. So this little line right here, six days, 13 days, 20 days, and 27 days. Imagine after a really, really strong move on Airbnb that you buy at 144.53 because you have three bear candles in a row trading above the 10 EMA. And you're like, oh wow, this is a double bottom. You have three bull candles in a row. You're closing with the neckline, you retrace and it pops and you're already in. So you bought a couple thousand shares of Airbnb at 144.53. Now, why do I say a couple thousand shares? Well, if you want to buy a nice Airbnb, you're probably gonna be dropping, what, 60, 70 grand anyway. Imagine you're buying a thousand shares of Airbnb and it costs $144.53 per share. So you're spending $144,530 of liquid cash to go ahead and snag yourself shares of Airbnb. And then you're going to short-term rental your shares on Airbnb like an Airbnb. Oh my gosh, is this inception? Is Leonardo DiCaprio here? You're in, you sell a call. And on what we're gonna do on Airbnb is we're gonna sell the 155 call expiring next week. So we pop in February 2nd, six days to expiration. The 155 call brings in, are you ready for this? A dollar 34, you could probably do a little bit more with a nice uh, bid ask limit order. But let's say a dollar 34, hold on, hold on. That's at 155. The stock right now is at 149 and you're gonna get paid since you have a thousand shares, $1,340, which is 1% of your holdings in a week. No termites, no tenants, no toilets, no cleaning fees, no wild parties, no condoms on your kitchen. This is a 1% increase over your overall net holdings. And if Airbnb, closes above 155 on February 6th, then you sell your thousand shares at 155. So you capture a $6 equity gain from here to here, and you keep your dollar 34. So you're making $7.34 on your thousand shares or $7,000 on Airbnb selling covered calls. Now imagine if Airbnb doesn't close above 155 on February, what do you do now? Well, best part, you do it again. You sell another cover call, hopefully this time even higher. And then 
possibly you sell a 160 and you sell this 160 for, I don't know, February 9. And at that time, you're not going to bring in exactly another dollar and 30, but let's just say you bring in another dollar, right? Another 1%. I'm sure you've heard this, but one of the rules of rental portfolios is you want to capture 1% of your rent of the overall cost of the building. So if your building is $200,000, if you can capture 1% a month, which is $2,000 of rent, you're doing really, really good. I'm talking about doing 1% weekly. That's better. I think that's better. Oh yeah, did I mention no headaches? No neighbors, no pool maintenance, no meteorites, no termites. Yeah, easy. This particular strategy is simply buying and selling, buying and selling either weekly covered calls or buying and selling longer term dated calls frequently when the stocks go up and as the stocks go down. Ladies and gentlemen, there is power in options. And I would love for you to continue to be a part of the educational experience known as Real Life Trading. We are here to continue to drop knowledge bombs and give you delicious brain food for free. Feed the brain, click the subscribe button. Thank you so much for being a part of the tribe, the community, and the family that is Real Life Trading. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it.